Hello guys, what is up? Mai here, and today I'm going to be continuing my playthrough of Project Zomboid. So last time I left off, we did end up leveling up, and I actually think I'm going to hop into Nimble this time around. Okay, so we've almost got a level in every single skill. And... Actually looking at hitting, shoving, and recovery, I never really looked up actually how to level those ones up. I have a feeling though, shoving is going to become a lot more useful in the next patch update uh, for patch R. Uh, that has been released by the way, but as requested, you know, all of you guys wanted me to keep playing on my old save, and you know, I don't blame you. This one has a lot of work put into it, you know, it's, it's going to be sad, you know, whenever it finally ends, and I'm not sure when I'm going to do that yet, but I will, you know, I will be uploading my save when that does happen, so everybody can, you know, hop around, check it out, see what my world is like. Okay, yes, yeah, so let's just grab some food. Uh, we've really only got uncooked salmon there. Is there anything else that's a little bit faster? Yeah, we've just got some crisps. So let's get going. Anyway, yeah, as I was saying, um, they have released Patch R, and it's it's pretty damn awesome. I've got to say, I'm really, really impressed with um, well, with basically the whole thing. It's awesome. The animation system is as awesome as it looked in the videos, pretty much. In fact, it's it's actually better. I think they've improved on it a little bit. It looks a little more fluid, I guess. But uh, yeah, so um, I won't be doing um any of any of my current playthroughs on that, but you know, that's just because old saves don't work in it at the moment and it's a little bit buggy. So we want to try to avoid that a bit. Now I'm actually trying to go around and find, I remember somebody saying there was a sledgehammer on one of the zombies in the hallway, but I couldn't find the comment before I started watching this video. So I'm not sure if I'm actually going to be able to find the zombie either. looking like it's, I'm not going to be able to find it today. Uh, what do we have here? Water bottle, great. Actually, the water bottle is going to come in real handy for the farming mod. Oh, holy crap, look how much stuff this guy has. He has a lot. I'm actually going to take the shotgun and the hammer. And I'm just going to chuck it somewhere else. So we've already got a shotgun out there. So I'll leave a shotgun a hammer, just in these front drawers here, so if we ever need to get to them in a hurry, you know, we've got a second place we can go. Now, I know, it's I've, I've gone on massive tangents. Anyway, as I was saying, with the shoving levels, not that useful at the moment, but I was actually playing Patch Eye yesterday, and I've got to say, uh, when I play it, it's going to be a completely different game, pretty much. It's going to be a huge learning curve. There's going to be so much more for us to, you know, kind of go through again. And really, it's it's only the combat that's the issue. But as you see now, I'm not going to be able to go out, and I'm not sure if I'm actually going to be able to take out this many zombies at once. Because you know, in the new patch, they've actually balanced all the weapons out a little bit. I haven't actually used an axe on that new patch so far, so I'm not sure how effective the axe is going to be. But I tried using the kitchen knife, and it was taking me about three to four attempts to actually land, you know, to actually kill the zombie, and often, you know, you'd be hitting, but it wouldn't actually, you know, hit the zombie, you'd be missing, and, you know, it's 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 definitely gotten harder, and, you know, I, I agree with that decision, this game is pretty, you know, it's, it's, it's not too hard, I've got almost 500 zombie kills at the moment, just on this character alone, but, you know, it's, it's not going to be like that anymore, if I see a horde, I'm not even going to be able to attempt to fight it, it's just going to be, you know, you're going to have to leave, at least until they make more effective weapons. Okay, anyway, so we've cleared out here a little bit. Let's just jump back over, because I did screw up a little bit last time. And this is... Oh, shit! That was really, really unlucky. That was not meant to happen. But yeah, anyway, I need to find my sledgehammer so I can get rid of all of these really ugly staircases that are all over the place. So you guys definitely going to have to post that in the comments again for me, because I can't find it. And I know that somebody said it was at one of these doorways and one of these zombies. 
Anyway, I stuffed up by leaving that whole area open. I don't know how I missed that, but it happened. So we'll go back through. We'll deal with all of this. There we go. Okay, we've still got a few trees over there as well that we've cut down apparently and never picked up. So we're not going to need too much actually, we're only going to need about 20 pieces of wood. Look how many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay so we're going to need 24. So two more trees and that should do us. We are actually as well in a little bit of pain from that fall which is not good for us. Let's find our painkillers. Yeah, look at all those zombies that are actually getting through that little gap. It's the most important place to block off and I missed it. How does that happen? Okay, let's go get him. Now, I know I've been talking about the farming mod for quite a while, but there's also another mod made by the same guy that's coming out too. And it's a camping mod, so he's adding in tents. Um, he's already got campfires added in. You know, he's got all of this stuff basically for outdoor survival. I think he's even going as far as to adding in mosquitoes. So when you're outside and that, you know, obviously you get bitten by mosquitoes. I think last time I slept outside was when I slept in a friend's car and I left the windows down because it was really hot. And then I woke up the next day and I was just covered from head to toe mosquito bites. It was awful. So, you know, sleeping outside, it's, it's going to be pretty bad for bugs and things like that. So he's actually putting those things into the game, so you've got to worry about diseases and, you know, illnesses, you know, related to mosquitoes and just being uncomfortable all the time. So, you know, that's going to be really, really cool when it comes out, and, you know, I'm going to be doing a video on that. Um, I am also going to be bringing the farming mod into this playthrough. Uh, I do have it downloaded, I've just got to figure out how to use it and figure out if it's actually going to work in a pre-existing world or if you're going to have to start again. Or if I'm just going to have to give myself items. So, you know, I guess another question to you guys is... And wow, that's nowhere near as much wood as I thought I was going to get, but... No, it's alright, we don't need as much anyway, because we've still got some of the pieces. Okay, so yeah, anyway, as I was saying, you know, do you guys want me to just give myself some of the basic starting items, just so we can get the farm off the road? if it's not going to allow us to put us into the uh, crates or you know do we do we just want to hope that it works or not use it altogether now where are my nails that is not what we want okay oh how perfect is that we actually Oh no, we got five. We might be one short. There has to be more wooden planks in here. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to find any in there, but that's okay. Uh, we still have plenty for the time being. So we'll just head back over now. Because it's 5.10 in the afternoon. Okay. Oh, how good is that? I miscounted and we only needed five. Awesome. So now this place is completely secure. In fact, once I get my sledgehammer, uh, you know, obviously I'm going to start branching out a little bit more. I'm going to be start starting to take some of these areas. So at the moment we got a bank. It's not particularly useful to take, but if actually even if I wanted to take the bank, I'm not sure if it'd be worth it because we've got all these windows here. So unless I boarded it up from the inside and then just had this area here and expose point to zombies and then I could board off these three ways here. It might be might be a little bit easier to do. But then again, I don't really need the bank. Uh, it would be handy to kind of get into all of these apartments or whatever these buildings are that are surrounding. I think they're apartments. There's the actual apartment building there. So if I actually went through street by street and I just slowly started building up my barricades, you know, I think we could start taking this town back. 
and you know that's definitely going to be doable once we get our farm up and running out here and we've got this endless supply of food but even in the meantime as soon as we start on that you know we're going to be able to you know get food from all the houses we can have all these new locations so we'll kind of be able to harvest as we go but it's getting a little bit late so we will head back inside now So that with each episode I just keep getting you know more and more ideas on how we can keep expanding this place and just how we can keep making it better. But you know, it's not gonna be long now until the poor zombies don't have a chance and they can't get to me at all. The only thing I haven't done that I really wanted to do this whole time was actually make a rope letter out of one of those windows. And I mean I guess that's partly due to the fact that I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to climb back up it just yet. So, you know, I'm going to have to spend some time reading up on that too. So we'll just speed this up. 9 o'clock, that's, that's pretty good. About an hour earlier than usual. Okay, sweet. 12 hours later. Okay, so how are we looking on food? Not so great actually, we're actually starting to get pretty low. You know what? I did not know I had all those weapons stashed there, okay. I'm just going to go through quickly and clear out all the crap in my inventory. slowly because I mean we don't really need a lot of this stuff uh, candles not really that important at the moment uh, I mean we've got plenty of flashlights so you know candles gonna be a last resort we don't really have water left so you know making coffee out of mugs and things like that isn't really an option anymore so let's just actually crap that was bad I need my empty bottles though uh, I need door hinge Okay, so the rest of the stuff is kind of important. But all that stuff that wasn't. So, let's head out now. And, to be completely honest, I think we're actually going to have to go get some more food today. So, we, we've got some meals that'll last us, but... You know, not really that much. And, I mean, another one of the issues is as well with the farming mod coming is we're going to need a lot of water and we don't have water so I, I did this back in a previous video once you actually run out of water the toilets will still have that bowl filled and you can actually go around and take water from there but only once so we're going to have to go around get lots of toilet water but you know it's okay because we're only going to be using it for our farm okay so I guess I just drink some of that orange soda I mean I've got lots of empty orange soda bottles so we should be good to go that filled me up that last little bit Okay, let's go outside. Let's actually go find some food. So, what's my weight at just before I head out? Oops, wrong one. 142 out of 355. Hmm, I'll see if I can drop anything off. Just to make our trip a little bit easier. Like, this crate, it's pretty heavy. This wooden plank. Do I have a shotgun on me? No, but I'm going to bring it with me. Just in case, I got 30 shells. And I'll just hotkey that one quickly. Okay, there we go. Hopefully we don't have to worry about anything, but you know, when we're going out, we wanna be wanna have that extra layer of protection if we need it. And I also hear things banging on my door. And that's actually one thing I never really considered with the next patch that's coming out. How much more difficult close quarters combat is going to be. Because all the zombies I've killed, it was usually out in the, out in the open with isolated zombies. Uh, you know, if I ran into a toilet with, you know, two other zombies in it or something, I didn't expect it. I'm probably going to get bit. I'm probably going to get scratched. Or in this one, you know, just two quick jabs and they're both dead. Or one quick jab and they're both knocked back anyway. So, you know, it's, it's really going to change a lot of things in terms of how we deal with these zombies. I'm not going to be able to go out as much, I don't think. At least not at first. Because the risks are going to be a little more riskier. The 
you know, they're going to have the same payoff, but it's just going to be so much more dangerous to actually pull off. So there are some zombies in here that have broken down the doors. There might have been some survivors. I think we've actually been through here before, though. Okay, so... Hello, Greg Anderson. How are you? Well, you're in my house, so if you don't like people, I don't like you. Don't want him opening up any windows is mainly the issue, or any doors, because at the moment this place is pretty secure. Uh, he can change that quite easily if he wanted to. So, I mean, I guess we're just going to have to get back out. Oh, that was scary. And it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Damn, we've wasted a lot of time today. We're going to have to hurry up. Holy shit! We have found the horde. Okay. Uh, we're going to try to lose these guys. We're going to try to make them think we're going in a different direction. Okay, so follow me up here, zombies. And I am going to run back this way. And what is this? I've never... Never even seen this before. What? Holy crap, we've just found, like... Two random crates in the middle of nowhere. There's so many items. Anything good though? I'm really hoping for a sledgehammer. No, no sledgehammer. Yeah, anyway, we'll might have to go back to check to see if there's anything more back there. But definitely at a later date because hopefully that horde is heading where we shot. Holy crap. Okay, yeah, we definitely we definitely caught some attention with those shotgun shells. I didn't think it was going to catch attention this far down. See how many of these we can take out. Just before we head back inside for the day. And that view site there is so hard. That grass must be so long. Okay, there we go. I think we're safe. Yeah, we're looking safe. Holy crap, that was intense. I'm so glad I got that place boarded up when I did, and I'm so glad I left uh, the, the board, the entrance, close to the bank. I'm so glad I left that one open, and not the one up near where the horde was. Oh, close call. Close, close call. Alright, so it's getting pretty late now anyway, and I don't even think we got food today. That was the whole reason we went out, and I don't think we got a thing. In fact, the only thing we ended up getting was things that we'd already gotten rid of before we left because they were cluttering up our inventory. So, I'm not sure how productive today really was at the end of it, but... You know, I think we're, I think we're doing okay. Um, I've got an uncooked TV dinner. Which is just going to have to do. And I mean, I know the electricity is meant to be out. Oh, yeah, that's right. It doesn't work at all. So we can't even use that. But, you know, worst comes to worst. We've always got our canned goods. Now, the issue is how the hell... There we go. And if true now, our Amigo 3 will be... <laughs> I think I just said Amigo 3. Amiga 3. Anyway, uh, with that, I will be calling an end to this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we will be back tomorrow. Hopefully not fighting the Horde. See you guys very soon for another episode.